let's say I'm 18 years old. Uh, That's not the case. <laughs> let's, let's, I'm still 18 in my head, so. <laughs> in your head you are, like me, I'm 11. Um, my friends tell me I kill it on the bike, blah, blah, and I want to give it a shot to become a pro mountain biker. Where do I start? First of all, what kind of races? <laughs> I get a lot of these emails every day. Hey, Cedric, how I can be like you? I want to get sponsored. I'm like, oh, wow, you've been racing before. No. I mean, like, first you need to prove everyone you're the best, or you can be one of the best with hard training or hard work, or you have a good talent. Because, uh, I mean, everyone is the best until you prove otherwise. No, everyone is shitty until you prove otherwise. Yeah. Then in life is like everything in life. Even in life, you know, if you look for a job, you need to prove you're one of the best to get the, the job you want. Or, I mean, to, to prove you're interesting. If not, it would be easy in life to go and walk, a, hey, I am, or I am this, or, oh, it is some people are really good with this, with internet, or because it could actually work sometimes. But real life is not like this. <laughs> You need to prove you're the best, or you could be one of the best with hard training or natural talent, whatever it is. Or, but, but you yeah. need to prove first you can kick some ass in any races you enter. You can do. A, I mean, let's face it. If you're not on the podium, people are not going to even if it's second. If you don't have something special, people will forget about it. Either you win, or you're the most spectacular. <laughs> biggest crash or biggest jump or whatever it is but you, you have this new kind of riders who make money <laughs> yeah. without uh, yeah. this is because yeah. the magic of internet you know like they try all day to do videos it's only a few people for me I respect the people who are legitimate on the sport who are really good let's say Makaski oh man that guy is unbelievable and he knows how to make the videos And everyone, what I like about Makaski is making the sport of mountain biking all around because he's doing really trio. He's doing trio with normal Santa Cruz bikes and you can go and buy on the, on, on the shop, in my shop or in everywhere we sell Santa Cruz. And that's what I like about yeah, this guy. If I, do, if I try to do the things he does, I'm gonna die. That's okay. <laughs> He's really good to make mountain biking known, and that's what I like about him. Like everyone know him. You can talk to some people who have who know nothing about mountain biking. They know Makaski, and I think this is brilliant. Or you have other people who have no skills before, but they train so hard on some things, or they have a little bit of skills. Let's face it, they still know how to ride. But because with the power of internet, then we upload this into, uh, let's say any different internet uh, site or, or whatever, Vimeo or YouTube or whatever. And then we get some likes, but then we, that's what then we do all day because um, it's a lot easier to do videos when you have time to do stuff than actually try to win and a race because it takes a lot more mm. commitment and talent and hard training and everything it is. I don't say that those riders are not good enough. They're just, yeah, they're good to make videos. But if you put them into any races, you will never even see them on the on the results. And uh, well, it's very easy because on the video it's 10 seconds, and you can do as many times as you want because you cut, cut, yeah. cut, cut, yeah. cut. Maybe I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, I hate this and those people, you know, work like this, like the superstar or something. And uh, you see Sam Hill kick ass every day in any sport he's entering, and he's not working short or big open, you know. And uh, yeah, you know, that's the power of internet, you know, you have uh, three months to do a video of 10 seconds, uh, it's okay. So you take the biggest jump, uh, you take the gnarliest uh, descent yeah. or whatever, and, and I think that that's guy, one way. I think that guy made a comment on my, uh, through my eyes videos, like, oh, I'm, I'm happy to see that Cedric Gracia is, is casing on that jump. <laughs> Yeah, the difference between you and me, I did that jump on the first take. It took you maybe five days to do it. <laughs> that's a difference. Okay, that's one way to do it. Get, uh, get, uh, get some views, get yeah. some, do something incredible, but it's more like uh, stuntman. Yeah. It's more of doing stunts than real. Yeah, try to get the view and the likes, that's what it is. That, that's the obsession of those guys. Yeah. The other way is to win races. So. What do I do? I start with the small local races and make my way up to World That's Cups. what it is. Uh, I mean, you cannot show up to the first World Cup first because you don't have the UCI points. 
but even if you have UCI point, I don't think there's a way to do it. Uh, when I used to train the Endurance team here, I make them do all the small races, Catalan Cup. If you prove me you can do a top five in the Catalan Cup, I will bring you to bigger races. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to bring you to the big field mm -hmm. right away, not going through the semi-final, and you're going to cry because all of a sudden you're going to find out or think you, you are shit. You're not shit. You're just beginning and step by step you need to build your character, you need to see, you need to learn. Winning, losing, you will learn anyway. But step by step because uh, this is life, you know? Can you can you tell us? It's a lot of noise now. Yeah, I think I think I get the. Uh, no, I think it's fine. Uh, can you tell us broad? You know, just a broad number. If I want to do one season of uh, downhill, how much money do I need? It's easy. No, it's not easy. But <laughs> if you're on your own, you're going to do only few races. <laughs> If you're talking about World Cup, all of a sudden, inscription is expensive. Uh, uh, pit zone, it's a, a grand, or 1,500 or 2,000 for the weekend. Hotel is going to cost you 600 or 800, except if you sleep in a van, you still need to eat. It's going to cost you two grand, two five. If you go to Whistler, every year it costs me 10 grand. Plane ticket, food, cameraman, mechanic, bikes, uh, living in the center of Whistler, bike pass, uh, beers, food, restaurant. Man, it's not. With that budget, you can stay in Europe and do all the bike parks in Europe. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but like, um, yeah, it would cost you, if you go ghetto, maybe 10 grand. If you go full on, 25 to 30. And if you go work up, 45 to 50,000. What about sponsors? Uh, do you have uh, advices, or tricks? How do you find sponsors? It's two ways to get sponsors, really. You need to show either you have a really powerful uh, uh, social media, then you can advertise and uh, show the work you do with your brand, X like what I do. I work with my brand, with my sponsors, to make um, better products, uh, and I teach online and re or social media what do we do to make special uh, and better products or you the best of what you do like Richie Rude in uh, EWS or uh, Loïc Bruni and uh, Vergier and Greg Minard and Steve Pete into downhill and in cross country uh, you have Upsalon and uh, Nino so you are those guys, you're the cream of the cream and you don't need to do anything else because you're the best. And now you can see those new talent, they're even good on social media because it's important for the sponsor as well and I think they're really well educated because they're younger, it's easier for them. And uh, oh yeah, or you are just uh, the social media guy and you get sponsored. But it is, uh, I know a lot of people get sponsored just for social media, YouTube channel. But it seems like one important lesson is you can't always have the sponsors you want or yeah. you like. You, if you want sponsors, I'm yeah. lucky for that. I choose my sponsors, and yeah, so far it's good. I prefer to say no. Yeah, but in the beginning, yeah, in the beginning, yeah. But um, it's commitment as well, you know. Mm. Maybe you get a thousand euro here, two thousand euro, but you know the products are so bad, it's going to affect your riding. That maybe you're smart enough to say, I'm going to decline the offer instead of getting the money and have a horrible season then maybe it's going to the end it's going to be the end of the because you didn't prove you're good for better sponsor to sponsor you or you're really good and you get the sponsors and you go and you make through and people know how bad was your product and you make through then bigger sponsor we come this is the second option i went that way it was hard well, but i did it when well. i'm not going to see the brand but people all people know I stayed a couple of years with this. In the beginning, it was hard because everyone knows like when you go to that team, it's going to be difficult for you to perform because the product wasn't good yeah. enough to compete. Because it was like this, but I had probably the best time of my life in this team because I learned that I need to work harder yeah. to make it through. And uh, at the end of the day, I don't think uh, that material was that bad. I just tried to be better and uh, work on me and tried to make it through and I did and it was amazing but um, sometimes it's better to say no to money to be able to write for what you like 
and try to get the result you deserve instead of going straight for the money, even if sometimes it's easier. Depends what background do you have, but I know my family didn't have much of the money and didn't want them to pay for anything. Then, uh, yeah, it was hard to say no to money sometimes. But, but you, have, you have the reputation to be really faithful uh, to sponsors at least. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the only good thing I have is uh, being faithful to the sponsors. Sorry, and, girls. And to stick to sponsors is, it pays off in the end. Not being an, uh, an ass to, yeah. and not being all too cocky. Just do, do the job, be professional. That's come with education as well. I know where I come from. I know is what I start. I know the opportunity I got. I know why I'm here today for who, from who I am here today. And uh, I always appreciate the people who help me. Uh, I think you almost end up every time when I stop with sponsors really good because I did my job, they did the job and it's a give and takes to everyone. And uh, if they were not giving uh, the work they did to me and not giving my work to them, we would never be where we was uh, before, yeah. there. And uh, yeah, it's a team and uh, yeah, yeah sometimes it, it was hard and uh, I think it's important to be faithful for the people who give a chance to you to be a better rider and uh, if today I am who I am today and I've been living all those years mm. with uh, what I love is riding and I never felt like it was a job, I think it's, uh, it's really amazing and that's why now I can work in the pit and I can see the people that I was working for before and shake their hands and be happy, oh yeah. you remember this? You remember that? It's awesome. Some people, you know, mm -hmm. they work in the pit and they want to talk to each other because uh, bad uh, relationship, bad yeah. relationship, or they feel they get. Uh, but it's easy when you're young, when you have success, to say to say, okay, I'm gonna do whatever I want. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's easy, but I always have people who take me to gram to real life, you know. Yeah. And um, I know I've been cocky sometimes, you know, when I win or a thing like I'm going to kill you and next day I'm going to win and blah and this. But it was more like a game, especially with Palmer and stuff. It was a big yeah. fight and it was cool, but it was always just for fun, you know, it was fun. At the end of the day, I didn't want to do anything bad to those guys. And well, that's uh, an example of someone who didn't really respect his sponsors that much, <laughs> a Palmer, right? Well, I was ready maybe to change uh, something, work for something he was supposed to write, but whatever. This, uh, ev everyone is different on that, and uh, but uh, you know I've been lucky to be able to write for the sponsors uh, I like and I wanted to write with, and uh, this is definitely for me was uh, more important than when you over look back, money. It's, over money. Lesson. it's something good yeah. with it. When yeah, you yeah, back, you uh, take lesson, and uh, for me it was better to respect the people and. Uh, and then go with the people who I know who work hard for me to be uh, number one or at least on the top five than uh, going only for the money and know that we use only my money, uh, my, my name and uh, you know I prefer to have the hard works uh, over the money like we talked the other day mm -hmm. about uh, glory, uh, <laughs> fun, fun, over fun over glory. This is getting so serious now.